Hi, my name is Jack Bannon. I teach band at South Valley Junior High School in Gilbert, Arizona. I created this tutorial to show students the basics of locating, completing, and submitting assignments in Smart Music. Start by logging in to your Smart Music student account. At this point, if you didn't turn it off when you created your account, it's probably a good idea to opt out of Receive Marketing Communications. Go to the home screen by clicking on the home icon in the upper left hand corner. Funny, it doesn't look like my house. Clicking on a class will take you to the assignments page. If you are only enrolled in one class, you will automatically enter the assignments page when you click on the home icon. Your available assignments will be listed under Assignments Due. Select the assignment you want to work on and then click Start. Now, Since band students play instruments with different pitch identifiers such as C flute, B flat trumpet, E flat alto saxophone, or horn and F, be sure to choose the assignment designed for your instrument. If an assignment has no pitch identifier, it is designed for everyone and all instruments will be available. A window will appear asking you to select your part. If your instrument is not on that list, you may have chosen the wrong assignment. For instance, I play the trumpet, so if I choose the C instruments assignment and click start, the trumpet will not show up on that list. If I choose the correct one for B flat instruments and click on the menu, I will find the trumpet and then hit OK. The assignment appears along with your teacher's instructions for that assignment. Always read the instructions and then click on the close button. If you want to read them again because teachers write really good intriguing, riveting instructions, you can access your teacher's instructions by selecting the Assessment tab and clicking on the See Instructions button on the right side of that toolbar. There they are, just like a good book. I think I'll read those again. Your teacher will have already set certain parameters for the assignment, such as the starting and ending measures. Any measures that you are not assigned will be grayed out. In this sample assignment, the entire exercise has been assigned, so there are no grayed out measures. Other parameters might include things like tempo restrictions, metronome use, background accompaniment options, highlighted measure settings, cursor configurations, things like that. Select the red record button. If your tempo setting does not fit your teacher's requirements, an exclamation point appears over the record button. Teachers can specify an exact tempo, a minimum tempo that allows you to choose a faster setting but not a slower one, or provide no restrictions so that you can go your own speed. I don't know, flute speed, really slow. So if you were practicing earlier and you changed the tempo to something other than what your teacher wanted, you will notice that you have the exclamation point on the record button. If you click the record button while using any settings that don't meet your teacher's expectations or requirements, a warning screen appears to let you know that you need to follow your teacher's instructions. If you want the assignment to count, so select Reset to Assign Settings and Continue Recording and start the recording using the required settings. If you select continue anyway with the recording, you can do that, but it'll just be a practice recording that you cannot turn in. Select cancel to return to the assignment without making any recording. After clicking on the recording button with the correct setting in place, or selecting reset to assign settings and continue recording from the evil warning screen, the prepare to record dialog box appears. Follow the on-screen instructions. Make sure that the speakers on your device are set loud enough that your microphone picks up the test tone and then select test your microphone.
If smart music encounters a problem at this point, follow the on-screen instructions to troubleshoot the issue. If you can't get it to work out, do not contact customer support. This is not the customer support you are looking for. Contact your teacher first. Once your microphone is calibrated, select start. The count, off, the count off will begin right away, so be ready. The recording will stop automatically when you reach the end. I'm so good. When you're finished recording, the music will be displayed on screen with some colors added. I go into more detail about how the colored notes work in a different tutorial. But for now, just know green is G-O-O-D good. And red is R-O-N-G wrong. We'll deal with yellow in the other tutorial. If you want to play back your recording, click the playback recording button, the one with the small red dot next to a blue arrow, this one up here. Professional musicians call a recording a take. Smart Music automatically saves your five highest scoring takes and your five most recent takes in the drop down menu under My Takes. My Takes? Drop down menu. Your score is shown beside each take number. So in this case, take number one, my score is 79%. What? That's not fair. This whole thing is rigged. I know I played it perfect. And the speed that I played it at, 72 beats per minute. Automatically saving your best takes is a great smart music function because it allows you to try as many times as you want before submitting your best result. Don't settle for a low score. You're better than that. Keep trying for a better take. If you never get a better score, just go back and select the best one you did earlier. Selecting any take in the drop-down menu will bring up the assessment and recording for that take. Uh, I wonder if I can do better. I don't know. That was pretty good. I don't think I can. Eh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to try. Let's just see. Let's see, did I do better on that one? Nope, 62 percent. Uh, uh, let me try again. green 1000 bajillion bajillion percent that's what I'm talking about so if I look over here I'm gonna see that I have all of my previous takes be careful takes are not saved if you leave the assignment screen in any way quitting your browser closing the window or even the tab just going back to the home screen they will all go away now to manually delete any take you want to get rid of First, select the tape, hmm, that take, 62%, that's got to go. Then click the delete button. It'll ask you, you confirm it, and now it's gone. Whether you delete a take or not, your teacher only sees the one that you actually submit. To turn in your assignment, choose your best take, Oh, it's so close. Ah, I'll go with that one. And then select the submit button. The comment your submission window will appear. You can type comments if you want, but it's not required. 
please, for the sake of your teachers, if you do, use proper spelling, punctuation, all that kind of good stuff. Once you hit the submit button, it will submit your take and any comments that you typed. Don't close anything until it's finished. Wait to get the confirmation that it's uploaded everything that's supposed to go. And hit the close window. Now it may take a few minutes, a few days, an eon, who knows, the pandemic might even be over by then, until that shows up in your assignments page as complete. Be patient, it will happen. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have further questions about using smart music, ask your teacher for help, or look to see if I posted another tutorial that addresses your issue.